a bull. This is a really, really horrid return, man. I'm only like, so. I decided to change my content a bit, so I'm making commentary about shit like this. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Has terminology like glass dick. All right, well. Uh, and we're load. Yeah. So, uh, Qora. Uh, do you care to explain about um, Mr. McDowell, schizoaffective lover of music and chemical experimentation? Okay. Uh, on this question, what is the best way to smoke crack? <laughs> So okay. This is this is a this is a something I I've, I've wanted to know for a long time, you know, because I've had some trouble smoking my crack. If you ask me, uh, my 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 pipe breaks. Um, I end up smoking my tongue, or sometimes I just shove my nose in a car's exhaust. So and I, think I this start is and then, me out. Yeah, and then sometimes I just scroll to wish and I just find crack pipes and stuff like that, wondering how I can crack. And, you know. Yeah. I do not condone, condone this. Side, don't smoke crack. No, it, I'll ruin you. It, it is it is not a good idea. No. It will well, ruin okay, here, Well, here's a good article on the side of it, and the related question, what is the best way to stop smoking crack? That's true. That's true. All right, well, let's, let's continue on this article here. What is the best way to smoke crack? Don't use a pop can or mar marijuana per paraphernalia with ashes. These mess messes are a waste. And your rock would just melt right through. A lot of people think one hit and a rock is through. But a 1.0.1 G rock could yield a, a good five to six hits. Let me tell you how. Wait, where are you in this art? You need a glass tube known as... Actually, uh... Okay, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna just read it. You need a glass tube, and you can get one of, you can get one where meth pipes are sold often, share the same code name as the meth pipe, Love Rose, and also having also, a small... try looking at a wish. <laughs> I look at a wish for one. You'll be satisfied. I'm not joking either, Wish does have crack pipes. Yeah, Wish, Wish does. And heroin needles, the same thing. Yeah. Okay, continue. So, uh, it, multiple people. I, okay, so someone here has, um, has some common sense and copy and says something. I'm speaking from the, ex from experience here as a recovering addict. Throw it in the goddamn trash. You're going to pollute your body and mind with it. It will destroy you. Okay, yeah. Well, at least some... <laughs> the best way to smoke crack in front of a police officer. Side. Okay, Dude. I'm back. Like, okay. Honestly, what the fuck, though? Like, why? Why are people like, oh, yeah, how do I smoke crack? Oh, yeah, here it is. That's how you smoke crack. Wanna, wanna smoke crack with me? Uh, yeah, there's, no nice, there's no gel pants here. Hey, uh, M Mr. Uh, McDowell, schizoaffective lover of music and chemical experimentation, you wanna, wanna smoke crack with me? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna go out and smoke a little bit of crack with, uh... <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna send you something in Discord a while. Model music, sir? You know, we can, uh, we can all have a, a nice little, uh... Crack. So, uh, speaking of Wish... Uh, Narska Fix, uh, scoring our crack. So, Wish, for one, has something... That I would really it like. I would really crazy. like that. <laughs> I would really like that. Nice latex. I'll buy that. <laughs> I'll <laughs> buy that too. Okay. Nice, okay. nice latex. Resume video. <laughs> okay. Go to the... Alright. Okay, I'll read... I'll read... I'll read one of... One of them. Josh Manson, Mast Addict. Baker. Which one? Barbara Fitzgerald? Barbara Fitzgerald, former, former awesome man manager of FedEx? Would you like me to talk about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go to the, the next tab. 
I like the form. I like how it, how they're how she's the off, off for, a former office manager at FedEx. All right, so three. FedEx. All right, ready? So let's go to uh, Josh Mason's. Okay. How do I smoke crystal meth so it doesn't burn? I, I need to know. know. I've having I've been having a really hard time. You know, sometimes I smoke crystal meth and it comes right out my cigarette smoke hole. And then it kind of just like goes through me. Burns a hole through my gut, goes to my dick, and comes and spits right out. Yeah, so I've been blowing a lot of smoke out of my dick recently. Yeah, it was, uh, it's uh, been melting right through me, man. Big old, big old crystals just come on my dick. <laughs> so, um, so don't worry, I can, uh, I can hook you up here. There's, there's a lot of simple actions, uh, actually. So, uh. Only use Bic lighter, you know. Twist. Okay, now on. How do I smoke mess if I have no foil, light bulb, or glass pipe? Barbara Fitzgerald, former officer, manager at FedEx Ground. <laughs> FedEx. Oh, Thanks, sweet. FedEx. Thanks, FedEx. <laughs> you always break my packages, yeah. and now I know why. <laughs> well, good job, FedEx. You've been uh, you've been smoking meth in my packages there. Now, yeah, I don't know why the packages out. always come up broken with FedEx. Oh, well, they've been smoking meth in them. They've been smoking so, meth, and then they've been getting raged, and then they just smashed my package. <laughs> so, uh, Barbara, tell us a little bit about your uh, your meth story. Okay, sweetie. So, one way to eat of it, of it, of it is by <laughs> using big pain. So, can, tweezers, butane torch, butane. <laughs> so I use my uh, my butane torch. Butane. Uh, my, my butane here, you know. Uh, my uh, wait. This here butane is a uh, the best torch to use, you know. No butane. Uh, it's butane. Butane. God damn it, Bobby. So. God damn it, Bobby. Butane Why you always use my butane torch? I'm using the butane torch. Uh. What you do first is uh, cut the bottom off the can and then uh, add the desired amount of said substance into the can bottom. Since the can's bottom is shaped like a bowl. Alright, Barbara, you take it away. It will hold crystals? No problem. Then you land with the tweezers, hold your whole edge in the middle. Next, put the, put the pan stems in your mouth. Then take the lit torch. I know under a hold it under my bowl. What is it sounds like? You already know what I want to do next to achieve what next to achieve your goal. Good luck. Oh uh thank you for the uh the good luck on uh, my uh smoking meth journey. Yeah, you're totally uh, I'm totally not gonna kill myself by doing it. Yeah. I think I think meth is pretty healthy. Huh? Um how do you hot rail meth? Alright, are you seeing it? Hot rail one now. Oh, okay, never mind. I see, I see, how, what else can, can I use to smoke smoke ice if I don't have a glass pipe or aluminum foil? Nice. Smoke ice. Right. What the fuck is that? Smoke ice. What the... I don't know. <laughs> Who's out here smoking ice? That... Smoke ice. Is that, a, is that slang for something? <laughs> no, it's just this. <laughs> Who's out here? Who's it's, it's a thing for ADHD. Wait, what? It's methamphetamine. It's my thing. It's so ba a beast baby shit's gonna lose weight. Right. It can also help beast patients lose weight. <laughs> Wait, what? Repeat that. There's a screenshot of this shit. Holy fuck. So, oh shit, uh. Alright. Smoke ice. So, smoke ice. What happens to your body when you use ice? Just read. <laughs> it can treat ADHD! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> methamphetamines <laughs> actually, actually, what they used in like the nineteen, in like the eighteen eighties, man. They actually <laughs> methamphetamines actually meth. 
Holy fuck! I mean was I was meth. Holy fuck! I'm ice is just crack. <laughs> no, that's that's worked. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck do ADHD medication people need to smoke ice? <laughs> Why? Oh, I have ADHD. Hey. Yo, give me my crack pot. I'm having a real ADHD moment. Give me my crack. Give me a crack pot, mom. I need, I need your ADHD. Mommy, let me have my methamphetamine. I need my Mommy, I need my methamphetamine, ma'am. And I'm fat. I need to lose weight. Okay. How easy it is. In the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, there's. Meth and crack is just it, it's destroyed the area that I'm in. It's destroyed the whole it's city, gonna, man. Yeah, it's going it's going to destroy my entire like city slash county because a uh, little bit off camera, Ben has figured out that yeah, my my, my where I am is a, a county of his city, but okay. All right, well, restart. All right, three, two. One. And, uh, yeah. So, stuff like crack and meth has just completely destroyed my area. And there, there's some spots where if you just go, if you go, like, in certain areas, you can see where it's bad. Like, there, there is spots in my in my neighborhood where there's, like, boarded windows and stuff. Yeah, and then when I would go over to, like, then, like, um, my neighborhood go to with some of the alleys at night. Go if you go walking around at night, which I highly don't recommend doing. In my neighborhood, there's a lot of gang things. Yeah. And in my, in my video of destroying uh in, uh destroying phones and this that's a Ben's neighborhood's a result of a lot of crack and meth. Um a lot, a lot, a lot of meth. And it's a result like Ben was making references like, oh, I can't go out here, I'm white, I'm gonna get shot. But the truth of the matter is, is it's just a bunch of meth heads. If you make too much noise, you're gonna get shot. Oh, no. No, I actually, there has been a shoot, there has, someone, a white person has gotten shot in my neighborhood. Just okay, for being white. I don't, I don't doubt it, but most of it, most of it's just a matter of meth heads not liking noise, you know? Bro, like, <laughs> I just, like... I don't go outside in, in my house at night, cause like, phone street. Yeah, you're gonna get shot. Phone street's a bad idea to go outside at night. If you're going outside at night, wear your hood up, so they can't see your white. Put your face down. Hood up. It's just a rough area. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that, um, that like no cops come near our neighborhood. It doesn't help. Yeah, but either way, if you really, if you really anything with meth, don't. It's I don't condone it. Don't even, don't even try it. No. Because it it destroys people's lives. You know, there have been people that have gone from decent people tried crack one time and they're a serial killer with no teeth. <laughs> no, they're just they just they just kill someone for crack and then they and they just yeah. like die from in prison. But there has been like actual there has been stories of actual like middle class people getting trying crack yeah. once and or mass or anything and their life just goes in this downward spiral. Downward spiral. Downward yeah. spiral. Yeah. Downward spiral. Downward spiral. So anyway, if you if you hear about oh the high is good, don't they're they're don't don't do it for the high. Think of the It's end. addictive. It's it's the most addictive drug out there. Yeah. And think it will ruin result. you. Yeah, think think of the end result, you know. Even if you get off of it, you're gonna be depressed because of what it did to your mind and you're gonna be It'll... itching for more. It mind fucks you're gonna you. Have no money. It will mind you're fuck have, you. You're gonna, you're gonna have no money. It results in permanent psychosis, which is borderline schizophrenia. 
you know? Like, I, w- I wouldn't wish meth upon my worst enemies, to be honest. No. Like, yeah, they may be happy during the high, but afterward, they- you can't live without it if you get it's the hardest thing to do is live without it. I re- if you want to watch, like, um, if you want to know about, like, a, a realistic, a realistic, um, downward spiral of someone watch watch the show haunting in hell house and it it actually has a recovering her- heroin addict in the show and you'll see and it's actually really realistic how he starts out good heroin, and goes down heroin's one of the heroin's one of the worst because they'll be away from it for 10 years and they'll still want to go back yeah it's like meth and crack like yeah you won't want to go back anymore like the idea will sound good, but you won't really like you won't have an urge to go back like heroin. So heroin as well. Don't even don't mess with don't mess with anything like that. Honestly. Anyways, wrap it up. Check out. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, I'd advise you to leave a like and subscribe. This may not have been my most entertaining video. And don't. But it's something that needs to be brought up. No, you know, I think we I think we made some entertainment out of it.